Hi everybody, today on the easel, I have two tree frogs. Can you see my cowboy hat? This is part of the discussion this evening. It's a 2T two tea, two tea night. It's uh, taste and tree frogs. We're gonna, oh, this is Cheryl. This is my wife right here. Hi. I begged her to come here and, and do this with us it's tonight. It's true. So um, we're gonna talk about, the taste part, it has to do with music. And that's why I'm wearing the hat here. But it's more, since this is an art channel, we need to go with that route first. So what we have here is two different tree frogs. Uh, I'm going to go with the one in the back first. So I'll show you. Hold that one here. Can we see it? Okay, this picture right here is probably one of my most popular uh, pictures ever. Uh, everybody wants this one. I don't give it to anybody. Um, you need to notice right away, most tree frogs don't have fangs. And they don't have spiky things on their arms. That was my uh, addition because I was being creative and I was using my imagination. So that's my tree frog. Uh, it's, it's complete acrylic. It's on a canvas and it stays in my house unless you want to pay me for it. It's gonna be kind of pricey if you want it. Okay, so that's that was that one's like uh, maybe two years old. Uh, I was trying to do some stuff that was more normal. But I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't keep it normal because I had to put some spiky things on. But this one here, which I just did probably about, I don't know, maybe uh, six months ago, three months ago. This is strictly um, ink wash and uh, watercolor and pencil. And I didn't do anything freaky this one at all. There's no spiky things, no nothing. Um, I'll sell this one too if you want to buy it. I love the red, the red eyes. Um, I have a video of this one that I made where you can watch me paint it if you want to. I would, I've watched it probably 20 times. Um, for some reason, this video didn't really do that well. I don't know why. So if you could do me a favor and go watch it, I appreciate it. So now, the reason why I, I dragged Cheryl in here, because we're talking about tree frogs and taste. The taste part is this. Everybody has a taste in things. Art, music, movies, books, whatnot. Okay, now, um, this is kind of funny. I'm wearing my cowboy hat. You're probably wondering, why do I own a cowboy hat? Why would I own a cowboy hat? Cheryl, why do I own a cowboy hat? I honestly don't know. <laughs> a couple years ago during the pandemic, everybody and their dog who owned a guitar was doing live streams. And they were all dressed like cowboys. Well, I play guitar. I did a live stream. So I bought my cowboy hat. Actually, I bought two. I have this one. And a black one. And a black one. I, I asked her to wear it, but she wouldn't wear it. No, I wouldn't. Um, I'm not going to drag my guitar in here because uh, it's out of tune and my fingers aren't, have, are, haven't practiced in a long, long time. So the, the taste thing has to do with this. My history with music is not country. I would almost go as far as to say I, I detest country music. I can Which remember. is interesting because our youngest son is at a country music concert tonight. Um, a performer named Wyatt Flores tonight in Lincoln. Well, that's my kid. Yeah. I, I didn't I didn't listen to my dad's music. My dad was into, into Johnny Cash. But, but when I was doing the live streaming and stuff, I played Johnny Cash because yeah. I was trendy. I was kind of fit, trying to fit in, you know. But we also did Eagles and Alice in Chains. But the funny thing is this. My history with music, and I have, like I said before, if you want, I, you've probably never seen me before, but I have like four CDs worth of music on YouTube and on Spotify. And it's all rock and roll. It's all heavy metal. It's all rock and guitars and all that fun stuff. That's that's me. That's my taste. But I want to talk about this little slice of time in my life about oh, 15 years ago when a uh, supposed friend of mine asked me to be in his band. <laughs> Remember that? Well, his band was all country. It made me a nice guy. At the time, I play guitar. I play bass. You know, both. A little bit of piano. Not a whole lot. Um, but I, he needed a bass player. I said, sure. So uh, he gave me a set list and I learned 60 songs and we drove around the countryside playing these country songs, which is kind of funny because, uh, after playing rock and roll stuff, watching people two-step is, is kind of funny. And line dance. And line dance. When you were playing in the rock band too. We played funky music. I remember that. And there's a video of her from 1990 something where her and her 92. friends are, are line dancing to funky music. Which is the electric slide. Yeah. But that was cool. We got the whole bar dancing with us. That's cool. I, I know because it was it was rock music. The thing about country music, and I'll just, I mean, I have, I'm going to lose followers because of this. 
I'm not asking you to follow me because I quit asking people to follow me, but follow me anyway because you want you want to see more of this stuff. We're talking music though. What was I talking about? Bass, do do do, watching people line dance, funky music, and but back in those days it was fun because that's what I was into. And my the band I was in was three art students, a music major, and a guy who sold speakers and uh, car stereos at a car stereo store. Store, right? Yeah. But those were, those are fun times. But but the thing with with uh, the other band was it wasn't it was more of a chore because I I learned the songs. We went around. We did the stuff. But it wasn't my crowd, and I didn't own a cowboy hat back in those days. But you know, um, and that that band didn't really end too well. I tried my hardest to get him to or the guys to do some of my stuff. I remember we I got him to do Rebel Yell, mm -hmm. which was amazing. I think got him and a couple other rock songs. But my taste is definitely the hard rock stuff and tree frogs and and monsters and aliens and dinosaurs and that kind of stuff.